Yeah, all right. Here we have Band in a Box. I've already launched the program. Um, the easiest way to enter in chord progression, okay, is if you just click on the black box and then start typing. And you don't even have to type caps, it'll do it for you automatically. So we typed in D minor 7, DM7. In a minute I'll talk about where the chord uh, styles are. And then I use the tab key to tab over, G7, tab key, C major 7, tab key. Okay. Now I want to change um, the measure. I, might, I want my loop to go from measure 1 to 4, so I'm clicking on this 32. This changes into a plus, and I just click on the measure number up here. You can see this blinking up here telling you to click on a bar. And now I've set that for <coughs> 1 through 4 um, 30 for our sequence length. Next, I want to play it, have it just play one time, so you can have it up, play up to 40 times. I'm going to select 1. So now my tempo is 140, and if I want to change my tempo, notice that um, if I move it just above it, it changes to a plus one. If I move it up above it a little more, it changes to a plus five. And once you click, see how I'm changing my tempo? Same thing with below. If I go below, it's minus one. Below a little more, minus five. So I'll keep it at 140. Um, we talked about making a title. I'll do this in out of order, but uh, called this what lesson one, I guess. Um, this is your key. Uh, embellish chords. You can actually put your tempo in here as well, uh, so you can set all this up. And I'll talk about more of this when we talk about Banded Box will create uh, intros for you as well. Now the style. So I'm going to click on the style button right here. Like I said, this is a little overwhelming, but here's all your styles. And I'm going to go to the jazz real styles. Now I get a list of all the real styles. And I'm going to just stay in the 140 range. You can go outside of these tempo ranges. You're just going to have to listen to see if it's um, you know, if it works. Sometimes you get artifacts if the tempos are too fast or too slow outside of the range. So I'm picking bassa with piano. And over here, it'll give you a little uh, uh, definition of who's playing on what. Just go OK. Band in the box will start playing automatically. And you get a nice bassa sounding. Since we only did it once, it's going to create an ending right here with a chord. And then you can hit stop. Um, there is under the song, there's a loop, overall loop. And I'll talk more about that. In this case, I'll turn it off, don't want it on. Now, if you don't like this chord, you can just click and drag and then go Command X and it'll get rid of it. And I could change it to, you know, B flat major 7 if I wanted to. So I've now changed my ending chord. So uh, that's just an idea of how to get up and started.